Hey everybody, I'm Beerman the Beerman and welcome to Sickle and Sword. Uh, this is another neat little game I found on uh, Ludum Dare 34. Uh, I think it might have been a late entry, uh, I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but it's really neat. Um, it's kind of a like a city building, growing kind of game, um, except you can only use two buttons and basically uh, your little dudes here will give you a choice of two options and you choose one. <laughs> And over time, that, that grows your little village, and um, you have to fend, fend off some baddies and things like that. Um, and it's really neat. So I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's pretty quick. It's a pretty quick little game. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, there's no music in the game or sound effects. I really wish there were, uh, but there aren't right now. Um, so if you're hearing any music, uh, that's because I chose uh, to add something in. <laughs> but I don't know yet, so we'll see. Okay. Uh, this is the starting screen. This is what you start out with uh, when you start playing. Um, there we go. Uh, they didn't expect to be lost for this long. The button's not working. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Two days since they went astray from the cavern. Stuck in a vast scorching desert, they had to work with what they had. If it wasn't for the well, they would have died of thirst. Then not too far away, they found a tree. They had their hopes up. I'm just the best storyteller, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so here's your first decision. So you can forage and get a little bit of food, or you can chop and get some wood, I guess? I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna call it materials, <laughs> because that's, you, you use it to build things. Now I've played through this a couple times, and I did die the first few times I played. Um, you can starve to death, but uh, now that I've played a bunch, I've, I feel like chopping it down to get some materials seems to work pretty well. Because right away they're going to ask you like to build houses and farms and stuff. Okay, they chopped the tree down. Now they had some materials to farm and build their shelter. Yeah, see? Materials. <laughs> there we go. They could have gathered fruit from the tree, but cutting it down was their choice. Damn right it was. That's what I chose to do. So we can make a farm, or we can shelter. Make a shelter. Um, the farms provide food, and the shelters provide babies, <laughs> which you're going to need. Uh, let's get a little shelter going, and then right away, let's get a farm. And let's do another farm, because I don't want to run out of food. And let's do another shelter, because we're going to need a lot, a lot of babies. Oh, look, we got a boulder already. That usually doesn't happen too fast. So we can make a statue or a tower. And the towers, uh, we can turn into garrisons later to help defend us. So we're going to make a tower. The statues so far I haven't found any use for, <laughs> so I'm not, I don't know, maybe there is. Let's get another farm, make sure we have food, let's get another shelter, because we really, we're going to need to defend ourselves pretty soon. Um, so we want to get a lot of peeps, so five houses is a good start here. Uh, and see, see the farmer up here? Oh, so this is a warrior, he's got like a sword here. Okay, now we're going to make a garrison. So uh, now this can help defend us, it'll shoot arrows at baddies, and this is our farmer. Uh, let's make another farm. And she's just running around, see, she's collecting food here and stuff. 36 days after finding the chest, which I don't think we found. <laughs> That's a little bit of a bug. Sometimes you find it, sometimes you don't. 36 days after finding the chest, uh, they had enough food for the both of them. Which didn't happen, I don't think. They still wanted to continue ahead with their travel, however. Yes. So we have a household newborn, we have our first baby, and we can make another farmer or another warrior. I'm gonna make a warrior, um, because I'm pretty sure we'll have another baby soon. And I want to make sure we have enough dudes uh, to defend us. I don't know what happened to our other warrior. Maybe it goes in the tower, in the garrison. That must be it. I never realized that. Let's make another warrior then. There we go. They had their first child, actually. It's their second. <laughs> uh, they let their newborn explore the wilderness and engage threats. The newborn learned to fight. They grew up to be a warrior. They were full of joy. Maybe the desert was not as harsh as they had thought. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> you're about to find out very soon. Because they're snakes! Oh my god, look! <laughs> Here they are! Uh, but one week later, their joy was interrupted by snakes. They heard a hiss that caused shiver down their spines. Close to their new little village, there were two snakes. Two freaking snakes. So I like the colors a lot too. I like how the warriors and uh, like your dudes are blue and um, <clears throat> neutral things are like a tan color and then the baddies are like a like a violet kind of. Uh, they managed to get rid of the two snakes. Fortunately, everyone survived the attack. 
Yay! But this was not the last they saw of the snakes. Of course not. Snakes kept coming, for the village was so small, the villagers wanted to build at least five houses. I already did that, so we should be good on that. Newborn! Let's get a farmer. Let's make sure we're getting enough food, because we're low on food. The snakes left the area since the place started to get populous. Yeah, because I already got the five houses. Uh, the village grew to four people at that time. Things got quiet for the next two months. Ooh. Long time. Occupy land. Let's get another farm. We're not we're not doing great on the food. But it's going up. It's going up, which is very nice. Let's get another warrior. By the way, this little white bar down here, that's a day, I believe. One, two, three, four days. I'm pretty sure anyways. Uh, let's get another warrior. It's very important to have warriors because you're going to get attacked by more stuff later on. So you want to make sure you're prepared for all that. Eventually they'll find this camel and you can um, you can kill it for food or you can tame it. Which I think gives you building materials, which I really need right now. See? Oh, we got wolves. Here they are. <laughs> Look at them. With four warriors protecting them, the villagers were not as frightened this time around. And the garrison really helps. Usually, like, I rarely get a garrison this soon. In fact, I think this is the quickest I've ever gotten a garrison. Um, but yeah. There you go. See, it's shooting at the, the wolves here. Oh, the wolf is running around attacking all my dudes. I like the little splats that they have, too. Like, it's kind of hard to see because the garrison is, like, taking care of everything. But, um, see the little splat? <laughs> so good. I need materials. I have all this food and no materials. Come on, go find these trees so I can chop them down. What are you guys doing? Get to work. <laughs> Nothing's happening. There we go. Okay, 64 days later, many of the beasts were dealt with. God, two months of fighting wolves. <laughs> it's so insane. Should be a while before they showed up again. Yeah, I hope so. Two months of war. Oh no, at the last second they killed one of my guys. Uh, let's get another farmer. Maybe that'll help us get more materials. Oh, here we go. A week later, the village had some visitors. It was a small cavern of Blos from Blossom Town. Beautiful town, I've been there, really nice people. The villagers uh, were happy to see some unfamiliar faces for a change. Except for mine, of course, because I've been there. They showed hospitality towards the guests. So we were very nice to them. I wish you could choose if you're going to be nice to them or not. I wish you had a choice for that too. That'd be nice. I need materials, come on! An exchange of goods occurred with merchants from the cavern. An exchange of stories happened as well. Tales of beasts and heroes. And the legend of the southern dragon. Ooh, give me materials. <laughs> I don't care, I have so much food! Yeah, come on! There we go, <laughs> finally! As the cavern was leaving, they gave the villagers some gifts as a sign of gratitude. Come visit Blossom Town sometime, I've already been there, thank you. The cavern leader said, so that we can return the favor. Mm, yes, favors. Alright, we finally got materials so we can make some more shelters and get some more people. Let's do that, let's get another warrior, we're gonna need him soon. Um, warrior, come on, let's get more shelters. More shelters, please. And we're still going up on food, which is good. As long as that's going up, you're in a safe spot. And this is why. <laughs> the farmers woke up one day to find their crops covered in rust. All the stored food rotted. The cavern must have brought the disease with it. So those motherfuckers came along, all nice-like, and ruined our crops. Probably not on purpose. But they still suck. <laughs> so all of our food's gone, but it was going up, so we should be okay. It should keep going up. Yep, so we're safe, because we have plenty of farms and plenty of farmers uh, to get all the food. Having heard of the It's... <laughs> Having heard of the It's recent misfortune, bandits from from the mountain <laughs> raided the village. They referred to themselves as the Banished Brothers. Motherfuckers. And look, the garrison is just taking care of all of them. That's awesome. Get another warrior in here. Come on. Let's get these warriors out here to beat these mother truckers up. Come on, get in there. That's another thing that's kind of weird. The warriors just kind of wander around. You just have to hope they find the baddies. Warrior, get over there. Uh-oh, I'm on food again. <laughs> it's a good thing we have this garrison just doing all the work. Look at the splat. The bandits were defeated. Two of them managed to escape back to the mountain. Oh, no. The victory made the village popular among neighboring villages. Yeah, that's right. We're awesome. <laughs> to show their support, the village of Onion Pile sent a tribute of their famous onions. Nice. We get some onions. I love onions. Do you guys like onions? I freaking love onions. I put onions in everything. My friend uh, thinks it's weird. 
because <laughs> she hates onions, but that's fine. Uh, the Blossom Town Cavern came back again. They had a troubled look on their eyes this time. In their eyes. Sorry. <laughs> Can't read. Uh, we bring bad tidings, they said. The southern dragon is coming. They delivered news of their town being crushed by the dragon. So this is what we've been preparing for this whole time. This is why I've been getting all these warriors ready. Um, I wish they would build more. Although they still didn't want to believe the news, the villagers started preparing for the attack. The Blossom Town merchants wanted to avenge their people, so they volunteered to join the defense, which is very helpful. It's very good that they do that. I need more dudes! Come on, make more babies! Here he is! <laughs> it was true after all. The dragon exists. As it approached, the village's defense consolidated and everyone was ready to fight. So we have a lot of warriors right now, which is good. We have seven. I kind of wish we had more, but we have this garrison that's really going to help out. And look, here he goes! He's just running around killing all our guys. It's a fucking dragon. Warrior! Uh, and then there's like snakes and stuff that show up, and maybe wolves, I don't remember. But look, he's just kind of off to the side trying to deal with this garrison right now. Oh, there he is! <laughs> look at him! Look at this motherfucker! Get him! Get up there! Come on! Yeah, go get him! Oh fuck, he's killing everybody! <laughs> Come on! Get the dragon! Man, I really do... These graphics are so basic, but I like them, you know? It's kind of like... Like a really neat Atari kind of look. I really like it. Um, and this is basically the last boss of the game. I would really like to see this game expanded, honestly. I could play this for hours on end, just making those little decisions and just see where it goes. And uh, After I played this a few times, I kind of got it down. I would like to see a little bit more challenge too. After a fierce 13-week battle, the dragon was defeated. Oh my god. That's so long. That's, that's over three months of... Or sorry, over... Yeah, over three months of... Just fighting a dragon. Good lord. Jeez, so we beat the dragon. Uh, and okay. As they buried the dead and treated the injured, the village people consoled each other. They felt some tranquility, however, for they had slain the southern dragon. Yeah, good job, guys. From that day forward, the villagers called themselves Dragon Slayers. News of the villagers' bravery reached the neighboring nations. A village of mighty warriors was able to put an end to the legend. It was a rough time for the village, but it was only the beginning. The end. <laughs> I love that. It was only the beginning. The end. <laughs> it's the best. Oh, man. Your left to right decision ratio was 7 to 22. Wow, that's, that's the highest ratio I've had so far. Usually it's about the same. But this time I, re I was really gung-ho on getting uh, warriors in there. Stats. What do we got? The village survived for 415 days. During that period, nine houses were built, five farms were started, zero statues were sculpted, one towers were erected, one trees, <laughs> one trees, uh, one trees were chopped, 85 square kilometers were explored. Wow, jeez. Uh, zero treasures were collected, even though it says we got one. Three farmers died, ten warriors died, seven snakes were killed, and one were scared away. One wolves were killed. I love that it's plural. One wolves were killed, and nine were scared away. Uh, zero animals were tamed, and zero were slaughtered. Yeah, usually I get lots of, like, sheep and camels to tame. That just didn't happen this time. Uh, the villagers were victorious against the southern dragon, and they were able to save zero out of three Blossom Town merchants. Ah, they all died. That's <laughs> too bad. Um, yeah. So there you go. Uh... Sickle and Sword. Really neat, I think. I honestly, I really enjoy this one, and I would really love to see it expanded. Like I was saying before, I could have just, I could play this for hours, just making those decisions, and just, I would love to see it just become a huge, huge village, you know, and like a city or something, and you can just get more and more decisions. I'd love to see that. Um, yeah, so it was on, like I said, it was on uh, Little Dare 34. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check this out. By the way, if you hit exit, nothing happens. <laughs> That's pretty neat. So all you can do is restart. And then it just kind of, there's your opening screen and you start over again. Um, really fun though. So go, go over there and check it out. Uh, if you had some fun, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!